last time, it was Viva Las Hot Potato. Jack Whitehall. Mickey Rourke. It's Shane Ritchie. Alex James. Alex James. I found myself in the bottom three, but this potato has thick skin. We would like to say Jack and Potato. And I'll be back at the top of the menu in no time. Oh, girls kissing, what? Mwah. Maybe someone from Kiss. You might think jacket potatoes are tough skinned, but me, I've always prided myself on being able to express a whole host of emotions. That could be the secret to my success. But the universe also has to play its part, right? Well, he must be very successful talk show host. And I've certainly had auditions that could have seen me take very different roles. Could have been a piano player, could have been a doctor. Oh, doctor Who. I might be a simple potato, but some mega famous people have looked to me to make them look good. The accent is all over the place. It could be in America. Tonight, get ready to be buttered up as this hot potato takes the stage. David played to please the Lord. You don't really care for music, do you? Wow. wow. That's really good. Really nice. Gold like this, the fourth, the fifth. Minor chord, the major lift. The baffled king composing I think we put them in the oven slightly too long. <laughs> Rita, do you want to go first? Jacket, that was Chris. Oh! oh that's a good one. Uh, OK, yes, Rita. Did you it? Come on, Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, Rita, first. can I get a spud? Yeah, buddy. Wow, wow, wow. That was unbelievable. So many versions of that song, and it's just so nice to hear it in this, this way. I've never heard it that way before, you know. It would be weird if you'd heard a jacket potato sing that before, to be honest. <laughs> Don't try and bottom me up now, because I'm... Oh, so that was one. That was one. What's happened? That was one. What's, What's happened? going on? <laughs> She's on fire! I'll be honest, I don't think she knew that she did that one. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so I was thinking maybe we're missing the obvious clue. Maybe he's a chef. But I did think maybe it's the Italian guy because I felt like the accent is so strong. I'm wondering if it might not be real. Now, what's his name? Gino? Gino? Yeah, Gino, Gino De Campo. I, I thought that. Gino De Campo. I'll jump in, because I, I love that performance as well. And you know what? You did surprise me with the vocals, because you showed off a lot more power and range and scope there than you did the first time you performed. And in the clue package, the stethoscope may think, is it someone who's a doctor? The keyboard, is it someone who plays keyboards? Well, doctors aren't just medical doctors. You have doctors of the sciences. And if it was someone who maybe knows about the stars, someone who does know about the stars and also used to play keyboard in a band with a hit record... Oh, yeah! So I'm going to guess maybe it's Brian Cox in there. Oh, OK. That's a Brian Cox. Yeah. Davina, what are you thinking? I could detect, like you said, maybe a disguise of the accent, and I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if it was Ken Jung? Oh. Ken <laughs> Jung is a doctor. Yes. What? As well. Yes, he is, you're right. Mo, I really did enjoy that. That was a really good performance. Mm -hmm. It was good to see you have uh, a lot more vocal range as well. But this was a clue. I seen a disco ball, right? And then this is really good range, and you haven't really peaked yet. And I think possibly it could be Michael Ball. It could be Michael oh, Ball. That's a good guess. Let's play one last game of Clue or False. Jack and Potato, can we have your first clue, please? Yeah, I'm Jack. Jack Potato. Rumour is I'm a real pussycat. Oh, interesting. Second clue, please. It's me, Jack. Jack and Potato. Rumour is I'm a real sellout in England. Audience, do you think clue one is true? <laughs> do you think clue two is true? Give me a shout. That yeah. lot of people think it's the sellout the one, sellout. England sellout. Which one do you think is true? One or two? I'm going to go with one. When someone says you're a real pussycat, it means you're a gentle person, doesn't it? Ooh, Ray Winston, you know, he plays yes, such a tough guy. Yes, he plays guy, tough guys, but he is but a pussycat. But he's actually a pussycat it underneath It could be it. Ray Winston, I big think. Ray. Oh, OK, who's the filling in this spud? We'll only know when the mask comes off. Let's hear it for Jacket Potato, everybody. <laughs> Potato's a tough one. Really tough. I love it when they're difficult. What's me now? Have the panel worked out who's inside the jacket? Or should they get their coats? Who do you think's behind the mask? Is the saying a potato a day keeps the doctor away? <laughs> I think it's fair to say I've got the panel foil. <laughs>